Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm going to be doing a slime video. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to be poking it. Let's go. So now I'm just going to poke it. Sorry, I had to get it before I got. So now I'm going to put it in a swirl and then poke it again. And I know this isn't the best swirl because I did it fast because I want this video to be over. But my camera is lopsided. Okay. So now I'm going to poke it. Let's go. And squeezing it pretty much. I don't know what this thing is called when you do that. So this one is called a slime French braid. And all you do is just flatten your slime out and get a piece here. I mean, fishtail. A piece there. Make sure to get smaller pieces because you don't want it to look bad like mine is going to. It's okay if it looks bad because it's not like it's hair and it's not going to go anywhere. So, yeah. So now I'm going to be showing you two ways to play with it. Okay, so the first way is going to be playing with it just on a table, just stretching it and folding it in. And poking it, which that's probably what all you guys do. If you have slime, that's all I do. I'll just go like this. Mine has like really loud poking noises. And then let's go on to the next one, and that's how I play with my slime. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys three because I thought of one in my head right when I was stopped that part of the video. But here is a second way, which is playing with it in your hand. It's actually really fun, but if you have as much as I do, then it's probably not going to work. But if you have big hands, that's good because when you play with this kind of slime, it's kind of like big and stuff, but when you play with it in your hand, all you 